Whew. It's 5.30 in the morning right now. Got up at five, took a quick rinse, and now we're about to start the long drive back. Edmonton to Yellowknife, 15 and a half hours approximately. Edmonton to Yellowknife? Take two. Let's go. So for the last part of our trip, we've been staying in the lovely Sherwood Park, Alberta. So if you guys are ever driving to Yellowknife from Edmonton, this will be the same route. Basically everyone has to come through Edmonton to come to Yellowknife, right? Pretty much. Whether you're coming from east or west, I think. Even if it's just a slight detour, you kind of have to because it's the last major stop along the way. Yeah, I think there's a road where you can, you can veer further north, but that's not the drive we're going to show you today. into babies so that humans like to eat them. Some hummus, snap peas, the world's best chocolate, an apple, monster from Miguel, and a beautiful sandwich. High level's about two and a half hours away from Peace River, so that's our next stop before we fill up and then enter the great unknown of the Northwest Territory. We have a couple friends up in Yellowknife who are a few years older than us and they were in university about eight years ago and they were telling us at the time when they would try to come home they, the uh, roads were closed because of forest fires and we are now driving through the aftermath of that. And you can also see quite a few uh, ready to move houses that have clearly been put up in the last eight years which I'm assuming burned down in those fires. From insurance payments. Yeah, the landscape has definitely changed. I don't think we see any more prairie. Really. No more prairies. There's a couple of little like pockets of prairie, but it doesn't last very long. We're definitely into sort of forest fire territory. Lose 
if we were planning for a nice night, maybe we'd be stopping at the Super 8 right now. A little supper at Boston Pizza. Wouldn't that be nice? But not today. <laughs> so along the way, uh, we hit a raven, thought that it glanced off the windshield. Turns out it, uh, it actually hit the hood of the truck. Perfect. Needless to say, I am not thrilled about this. Next stop, the NWT border. Just for a little perspective, high level to the NWT border is just under two more hours away. It sounds ridiculous, but every time we reach a high level, it feels like we're nearing the end of our trip because the drive to, from Edmonton to high level feels so long because it's in the middle of nowhere. But it's just the halfway point. We've got another eight hours to go. High level is definitely a great place to stop if you are wanting to do this trip from Edmonton to Yellowknife in two days. I think there's about seven major hotels. The Best Western has a water park and they have a Boston pizza. So on our first drive up here when we moved, we stopped at high level. Um, it was really nice, but ever since then, we've just decided to power through to get home as quick as possible. So that's why we keep doing these 16 hour drives. Alexander Falls right now because it's one of the best things to see along this route. There aren't that many things to see along this route, but this is definitely one of them. in North America. The only river that's bigger is the Mississippi. We're just about to cross the bridge over the Mackenzie and that bridge wasn't completed until 2012. So before that, you had to cross a ferry in the summertime. You had to cross ice in the winter and during the shoulder season, you weren't going anywhere. So it was a pretty big deal when that was completed. is also not very far away from here not seeing exactly where it is but um, here's a picture of some of the fish that we caught there all summer the gas prices have been high down south and I've said to myself say it ain't so say it won't follow us north those are the highest gas prices I've seen in my entire life luckily I've got Costco gas in here so we don't have to fill up with that 159 gas 
But I am scared about what yellow knife is gonna be at when we get there. Terrified. <laughs> two coffees and two energy drinks is what it takes to do this drive. Of what it's like driving from Fort Providence to Yellowknife. Just picture this for three and a half hours with this much traffic. Every single time you do this drive, you're gonna see a herd of these guys. We did it!